It feels like floods, fires, cyclones and other extreme weather are becoming the new normal in Australia. So you might be wondering, would a small portable battery and a small portable solar panel attached to it be useful to my family to be able to charge up if there's no grid power for a few hours? But also, would such a thing be useful when you go th on car camping trips as well? I tested a EcoFlow River 2 portable battery, which has 256 watt hours of battery capacity. To give you an idea, that's roughly 14 full mobile phone chargers, as well as connecting it to a 110 watt solar panel, also from EcoFlow. Both of those were provided by EcoFlow to me for testing on an independent basis. They have no idea what I'm gonna say about their products. Okay, let's go and test these in somewhat cloudy, somewhat sunny conditions. Earlier in the year in Australia, that means there's lots of sunlight. If you were testing during winter in Australia, there would be fewer hours of sunlight. So bear that in mind when charging portable devices outside with a portable solar panel. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. First, let's have a look at the EcoFlow's 110 watt solar panel. It comes in a cardboard box and together the solar panel and the handy carry case weigh six kilos. The fold up solar panel by itself weighs four kilos. As you can see, you can unfold it and put it on an angle to charge whatever device you're plugged into it. Included in the box is a cable, specifically a XT60i cable, as well as the actual panel itself and some other little bits and pieces, including warranty paperwork. That's the cable you need. Make sure you don't damage it because you only get one. And also very importantly, do not plug the solar panel in or unplug it while it's facing the sun. That's really important for not damaging it. As you can see, the panel itself has a nice fabric surface. It's a monocrystal silicon panel. Make sure when you're using it that it doesn't have any shade on any parts of the panel because that will deteriorate performance. And also keep a watch out for leaves and other things that can blow on it during use. That'll also deteriorate its performance. It's pretty amazing that you can get a 22.8% portable solar panel for only a couple hundred bucks these days. That would have cost a lot more in the past. At the moment, the RRP is about $399, but I can see it online available for $299 in some places selling it within Australia. Obviously, make sure you look at the safety guidelines. Don't make the solar panel wet. Though it is IP68 proof if there is light rain, for example, while you're using it. All right, let's unpack everything. Get the cable out, get it ready to plug in, have the power panels unfolded, of course, and in wherever you place you're going to use them. And this is the River 2 portable battery bank. It's flat, that's why it's flashing 0% full. The socket for the XT60i cable is on the back. Uh, as you can see on the other side is a 240 volt socket as well for powering it using grid power. Or if you have solar panels on your roof, you can also charge it that way. Very handy. Uh, also it has an optional cable to charge it from your car with 12 volt. Now the good thing with EcoFlow is that all of its portable batteries have an app which is really useful, not only for keeping track of how full the battery is while it's charging and discharging, but also because you can get frequent firmware updates. During the time I've had this portable battery, every few months it gets, there you go, a firmware update. Adding little features and fixing little bugs. If you buy a portable battery which doesn't have an app, then it will never get any updates to its features and the bugs will never get fixed either. Now, what angle should you put solar panels at, especially on a sort of cloudy, sort of sunny day when sometimes it's fully sunny, sometimes it's partly cloudy? Good question. Basically, 
the panels should be facing directly to the direction of the sun as much as possible. That'll maximize their output to the portable battery. As you can see in the video there, the panels were outputting 101 watts to the battery bank, which is almost full capacity for those solar panels. The carry case for the EcoFlow solar portable panels has a handy ability to be used as a kickstand. However, I found that by itself, it wasn't quite enough to have the panels facing flat towards the sun in the correct direction. So I used a little plastic container that I use for collecting weeds in the garden as well. You can use something else, as long as it's strong and rigid and won't move around in the wind. Now, what are the dimensions? That's a really good question. Let's have a look. When folded up, the portable panels take up 42 centimeters by 48 centimeters by two and a half centimeters. And when unfolded, because there are several parts to the portable panels, they take up 42 centimeters by 178.5 centimeters by 2.5 centimeters. So you need roughly just a bit less than two meters of length space clear to be able to unfold the panels and have them pointing directly at the sun as best as possible. Now let's keep track of how long these panels take to charge the river too. In, like I said, sometimes it was sunny on the day I tested, sometimes it was partly cloudy, but that's real life. No, you're hardly ever gonna get a day when the sun is perfectly unhindered by any clouds or issues. Yeah, that won't happen that often. So. In real life, the panels were able to max out when there was full sunlight. As you can see, they got very close to 110 watts on quite a few occasions when the panels were facing the sun and the sun wasn't hindered by the large gum tree that my neighbors have or the clouds that were overhead. In a perfect world, it would have taken about two hours and 20 minutes to fully fill the battery with this 110 watt solar panel folded out, but that doesn't exist in real life. So how long did it really take? Well, I calculated about three hours, which is pretty good actually, considering it was partly cloudy for parts of my test period. Now, what about a bigger battery you say? That's a really good question. So. I asked EcoFlow and they were kind enough to send me their new EcoFlow Delta 3 Plus, which has a much bigger capacity than the River 2. Can you guess how much bigger? It's actually 1024 watt hours and it weighs a hefty 12 and a half kilos. So it's about as heavy as you could realistically have a portable battery for one person to be able to move around easily. Now I forgot to mention all of the EcoFlow batteries are made with LFP battery chemistry. So they're really safe and they can be charged from zero to a hundred several thousand times without any issues or safety problems. They will be fine. Both the River 2 and the Delta 3 Plus have five year warranties. Unfortunately, the 110 watts portable solar panel only has a 12 month warranty. It would be nice if that was longer. If you're considering purchasing any EcoFlow batteries, solar panels or accessories, make sure you check online because they have a lot of resellers. You can buy directly from EcoFlow, but sometimes the resellers have a better price and sometimes EcoFlow has a different price. In fact, that's a really good point. I've found that over the years that EcoFlow consistently has pretty good sale prices several times a year. So if you're not in a rush, wait for a sale or wait for a particular product to go end of line as it's about to be replaced with a newer one and you could get a really good price on it, much less than new. But otherwise, the prices are reasonably competitive for the new recommended retail price as well. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you.